guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you five different ways on how to style a hair scarf. I've been loving this trend, especially on Instagram. If you guys have seen, I've styled it multiple different ways and I thought it would be fun to show you guys how to do them as well. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so for all of these looks, I'm just taking this hair scarf from Target um, and I will have it linked down below. But what you do is you fold it in half and you just roll it down. So as you can see, you can fold it different ways to have different colors on it, or you can just gather it so you can see all different colors. But the first one I'm gonna do is um, just a regular headband style. So I put all of my hair to the back, take the part that is folded, I'm gonna take the ends, and I'm just going to bring all of it up. I'm gonna make sure this hair up front is flat, otherwise it will kind of stick out. Um, and I'm going to tie it up towards one side. So whichever side you prefer or whatever side your part is to, I'd go the opposite. Um, okay, so you can fold it however many times you want, but here's the trick. So you wanna pull all of this hair out and that way it's kind of blended. So you're gonna do the, the same on the other side as well. And it may be a little hard at first, but you just wanna get it to where it's nice and even. Okay, so then you can just adjust it. Now you won't see it a ton with this way, but I think it's still like really cute. So there you have it. There is the first hairstyle. This is kind of a Jessie James Decker look. She does this all the time, especially with like actual handkerchiefs. So I think this is so cute and so fun for summer. So that is easy, anybody could do it. Okay, so for this next hairstyle, I'm going to do a half up, half down with the scarf in the back. So all you wanna do is take like um, up by your temple. And honestly, I found that less is almost more because you don't wanna be like totally like bald looking. You still wanna have some hair down. So I just take like um, a pretty decent amount size on the top. So for this one, you can either use a little elastic if you have pretty thin hair or an actual hair tie. Um, these things can pull your hair out. So I'm gonna use the actual hair tie and it'll give the scarf like a little bit more to grip to. Tie that in just a ponytail, pull it down. And then I'm gonna take my little scarf and this time I kinda want the pink and all the colors to show through. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to fold it like how we had but I'm just going to gather it, like gather it up. So now you can see all of the colors. And I'm going to tuck the scarf under the hair and get it somewhat in the middle. And then I'm literally just going to knot it right over the hair. So this is what it looks like. You can see the scar from the front. I think it looks super cute. You can also see it in the back. And um, since the hair is down, it still like feels like your hair is down and you don't feel bald. I know sometimes if all my hair is back, I just feel so funny. So that is the second hairstyle. So for this next hairstyle, I'm going to be doing a loop braid in just one section of my hair. So what I'm gonna do is take a section of hair a pretty decent sized chunk and add an elastic hair band and just do two loops and then I'm going to take another chunk of hair right below it and I'm going to tie another elastic hair band on that okay and you're just gonna put it slightly below the first one so once you have those there I always like to leave a little bit of hair out in the front so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the top one, split it in two, like right down the middle. You're gonna flip the bottom hair up like so, and then grab this and tie an elastic hair tie. And you're just gonna continue the process. Okay, now that that one is through, and try not to get your little hairs in there. You're gonna take that hair, split it, flip this bottom up, if I can get it. Okay, as so, and then you're gonna do another hair tie. And you wanna make them pretty tight at first because we're gonna pull them all out at the end to make the loops like really um, noticeable. 
I use the black hair ties um, because my hair is dark, but they also have clear ones. And once we pull these out, you won't even really be able to see them, so it's not a big deal. Okay, once we get pretty close to the bottom, as you can see we have it here, I'm going to start at the top and I'm just going to start pulling that out, creating loops in a sense, just making it like a nice thick braid. And the bottom will go a little crazy, but we'll fix it in just a second. So, and the more, the only one that's showing elastic wise is this top one here. Um, and you just have to watch it. Okay, so yeah, so the only elastic that's showing is this one and you can take a little piece of hair and wrap it around if you want. I don't really mind and then you're going to take your hair scarf and you're gonna hold it at the bottom and you're just gonna tie it around a couple times and the more you tie it the shorter it'll get so however short or long you want your hair tied to be you just keep tying it so that is an easy way to braid if you don't know how to braid or if you can't really braid on for yourself and that way your hair is still down and it just adds like a little bit of style a little bit of cuteness and you can really see the hair scarf and you can get it to where you can't see the tag <laughs> that would be good so this is a great hairstyle for summer i think it's just so cute it would be really cute with a hat put on as well so this is the third hairstyle Okay, so for this next one, I'm going to do a teased pony with um, the hair scarf around it. So all I do is I take this little tease brush I got from Sally Beauty and I take the hair at the crown of my head here and I just lift it up and I'm just going to tease a little bit. I'm not going to use hairspray because um, I'm doing like other hairstyles, but typically I would um, hairspray it. But this just adds like a little bit of volume to your ponytail. I think that looks really pretty. If it's flat to your head, I don't know, it just doesn't quite look right. Um, so just tease around the crown of your head and just give it a little bit of volume. But if you wanted to spray hairspray, you could spray it on after you teased it. So I'm just going to kind of brush it over, make sure there's no crazy parts. And then I'm going to take an elastic hair tie like this um, I also have the teletie, but I don't want it super bulky so I can tie the scarf around it. And all I'm going to do is take the hair and lift it all together. So as you can see, um, I've got some volume back here and I'll adjust that once I put the hair tie around it. So there is the ponytail. Um, and then what I do is I will always like loosen it a little bit in the front and just kind of adjust the teased part because it'll get like kind of messed up in while you're tying it. So you can take the other end of the tease comb, you know, maneuver it how you want it to be. Okay, and then I always take some hairs out and just kind of have them hanging down. And then I'm gonna take the hair scarf again and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna gather it, take it under the hair, pull it up, Make it somewhat even, and then just let it hang. And that's it, that's all you have to do. And it's super cute. And this is a good hairstyle for summer. If it's hot out, you can just have your hair up. You can even do it in a high pony if you want. Um, this is just how I usually do it. So that is the pony. I think it's so, so cute. Okay, so the last hairstyle that I have is a big bun um, with the scarf wrapped around it. So what I do for this is I take an elastic hair tie and I just pull all of the hair up and then I just, what I do is I make a loop and then I twist it, leave the loop there and I grab all of this extra hair and I just kind of wrap it around. And then I put the hair tie back over that and this is what you're left with. <laughs> so I just kind of maneuver it however I want to make it a little bit fuller and whatnot. And then I just take the hair scarf and I wrap it around the bottom of it and I'll go to one side but I will just tuck it in Let's see here. 
and it'll make it a little out of hand, but you can just have it like this, or you can tie it one more time to make it a little bit shorter, depending on how like long you want the little things to be. And there you go. You have a really cute um, updo. And it dresses up an outfit or just makes it really casual. For me, this is super casual. This is like my mom hairdo, but if I want it to be a little bit cuter, I just tie a hair scarf around it. All right guys, that is the last look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it gives you some variety with hair scarves that you can try out for yourself. If you do, let me know down in the comments and let me know which one was your favorite style. I usually say the loop braid is just because it's such an illusion and it gives the look that you actually put in a lot of work, but in reality, it's just hair ties. So subscribe to my channel if you are new and you want to see more videos like this. I do all kinds of fashion, home decor, beauty, lifestyle. I'm also a mom, so I throw that in there as well. So subscribe if that sounds like something you would like to see more of. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.